Ooh. Hold enter to skip cutscene. Now I won't be doing that, sir. Talk about a close-up. That's an eyeball, all right. Oh, gosh. Uh, so what happened? That looks like some kind of blunt force hit. Smashed you straight in the face, sir. Ooh, ooh, someone's coming in. And he's still alive. Ooh, okay, game. I see what you're implying. These animatronics, they look dead. They're the furthest thing from it. And here we go. We are back. You read what it says in that bottom left-hand corner. The full game is now upon us. Hey, guys. What about if I told you there are rumors about that abandoned amusement park that you used to visit as a child still having the abandoned animatronics within there? Yeah, you loved that park when you was younger. Now you want to go ahead and reinvestigate. I would tell you not to, but as a result, we get this sick game, so you go ahead and explore that place. So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome to Teela Land. The full game is now here. We played the demo about eight months ago, I believe. I'm looking forward to see what crazy stuff they've gone ahead and put in this full release. I know already, though, that this game's about to terrify the crap out of me. If you guys want to see that full series on this also, I think you know exactly what to do. I mean, I've been seeing, like, every other comment, basically. Ryan, Teela Land has dropped right now. Where's your video? New game, get me in this good stuff. So we begin the adventure. Well, that looks like some text. Backstory time. Years have passed since the unfortunate closer. Closer? Closure of the Teeland Amusement Park, founded by you, David Art, along with your brother, Marisa Dow. Bro, my eyes are unfocusing. Since then, you both have moved on and gone your own separate ways. So this amusement park, it wasn't just a memory from when we was a kid. We basically own this place then. Hold up. After all of this time, the park still stands, abandoned, untouched, until now. Someone familiar is coming! I think it's that right, guys, it went too quick. Whoa! This looks awesome, right? I didn't read that. If this is the intro for this game, how good is this about to be? You know when a game gives you shivers? Bro, what's with that complex? He looked confused. David. The voice on the other end, is that our brother? Could we have just figured the plot already? He's wearing a mask. Yo, let's go. Come on, guys, you ain't clapping right now. You see that intro? Let's go, man. Time me over until security breach. Like, when, when's that game even coming out right now? Let's deal with this one in the meantime. Awesome fan game. That must be him opening the door. Yep, that's gravel. So, is he entering, like, the park or something from the outside? Shame we can't see this. I mean, maybe we know the lay of the land so perfectly. We wear that blindfold as we walk through. Wait, what the? Is that the logo of the park? I think that says, yeah. There it is. Welcome to Teelaland, guys. The light's still flickering. Interesting how it's got power all this time later too, huh? Oh, we do see the park. Welcome to Teelaland, and now abandoned the lifeless amusement park. Untouched, unwanted. To navigate... Oh, you feel the environment? This is cool. To navigate, use the WASD keys. Move the mouse to look around. Left click to collect or interact with items and hover your mouse over objects in the scenery to learn more about the park. When you're ready to go beneath, find a way to the storage. Hey, let's go. Now, there's something homely about, you know, these whole like 2D styles. I don't know why, I really enjoy them. So, we make our way through the park. What appears to be a cardboard cutout of the mascot. See a no smoking sign. That looks like a turned over sign. A large Ferris wheel. So to our left here, what we got? Oh! You're not gonna comment on that? What looks to be a show stage area, no one is there. That show stage guy, he just went past me, dude. A large statue of Teela polished in a fine golden paint to welcome guests. Now there's a question mark here. We can't click that. Uh, I'm looking for collectibles or something. I guess the exclamation mark really means, or should I say the question mark? It means it's a point of interest. Take a look to our right. I kind of want to look around slowly right now. An out of order teacup ripe. The rain has damaged some of the paint. That's all we really get for this one, guys. Oh! the heck? I just crammed myself. And law page found. Yeah. Really isn't much more we can see here. Let me just back up a sec. So we're looking for law pages. Let me take a look to my left one more time. Now that we know somewhat what they look like, maybe we can find them. If they even exist around here, which it doesn't look like it. Man, I need me that law, man. Standing here in the rain is worth it, though. I need some paperwork. Okay, let's go further into the park then, huh? To our left and to our right. This is very hard to even see what's going on. A group of rather suspiciously placed trash bags. It's likely that something is hidden beneath them. So that must be exactly where our eventual goal is. That's where we're headed. No doubt it's covering the hatch that takes us down beneath the park, right? We look at them. This is cool, man. This is really cool. Nothing more around. No more paperwork. How about we go ahead digging, guys, huh? 
Let's open the hatch and let's go ahead and check out what's going on underneath this part. Is it still polished? Goodness. Goodness. Climb down the ladder with S and look around with the mouse. When you are climbing, your flashlight will activate after a short cooldown period. When the flashlight is on and Tila is visible, aim the light at him and send him back into the darkness. Tila will give a faint audio cue when he becomes visible. <laughs> Literally, I bet this cue is so quiet that it makes me want to max my volume out. Nah, bro. I am maxing this out. Let's go. I will check around every time we go about five steps. Let's go. Wait. This seems a good pa- Oh! Where's your audio cue? Bro, that thing was so quiet, I couldn't even hear anything. Woo. We play this carefully, guys. There he is. I see him. Yo. Holy cow. Dang. This is terrifying. Let's go. I love how the um the kind of ladder is like, it's got this blurred view. So when we're going down here, everything feels so claustrophobic and grimy almost, you know? Only a little bit. Only a little bit. Halfway down, and I don't see no Teela monster following me. Is that the audio cue it's talking about? Dude. There he is, there he is. Woo! I heard that one. There's a lot of noise around this place, though. A lot of noise. It is hard, man! Hard to differentiate. What's an animatronic moving to snap my butt cheeks up? And what's just the thunder and lightning above? We go down only a little bit. Just a little bit. You know? We take our time with this. We don't need to rush. We'll get to the goal. We'll get there. But I'm doing baby steps, bro. You see that? That's why we do baby steps around here. There he is. Woo! He's trying it. He's trying it. Listen, man, look how close we are. We don't want to rush this, okay? That's why you don't rush this. You see how close he was to the end? Let's go. So we've made it down now into the bottom of wherever the heck we are. Let's check around here. What we got? I've kind of forgotten most of the gameplay, and I kind of like that. It's going to feel like that fresh start. The what the fake is this? Oh, this is cool. So for every single hour, you can see we have different branching paths and a hard mode. These basically serve as like it gives you a lore or some kind of extra backstory. You can see all of the like levels and stuff then. This is sick. So we're here for a total of five hours and then we have the finale. Now, I saw that this page here, the lore pages from the one we found. This is what we can read about this. So let's learn a little bit about this company. Zanicorp is a company that owns the Tealand brand and it was founded by David Artel and Teal Artel in 1973. The decision behind the name of the company remains unknown. David had a newfound interest in robotics and engineering and decided to put it to use for entertainment purposes. While Teal's plans for the company were different, he ultimately agreed to go in this direction. Teal Island was not Zanny Corp's first endeavor into the entertainment business. Their first locations consisted of several small cafes with only one basic animatronic. Throughout the company's life, all of Zanny Corp's locations were located within a small number of states within the US. Despite the basic nature of these locations, they proved to be very popular. Okay, so lots of people know about this place. Maybe us as a character, considering we did own this place, we cannot let the past go, you know? It was such a big part of our life. As interest grew in the new trend and income grew, the brothers' plans grew more ambitious and more advanced. In the 90s, their latest project, the Tealand Amusement Park, would finally finish its construction. The robot entertainers were now much more advanced, with each character moving modular into skeleton parts. Changing modules granted the possibility for different personalities, different routines, and radio control. Unfortunately, this module swapping system would be exploited not long after. William Af in this universe, then hold up. We got a tutorial. We haven't done this. Uh, I might do this, and I'll probably cut between it quickly just so we can get a basis of the understandings. This will mostly be just me reading how we do stuff, though. All right, so this is our main computer area. We can interact by doing this right here in the middle. No signal detected. Please check if T-Law is assembled correctly. So it says it needs assembly in the top corner. My guess, then, is that we got to get back out of here. It's very, like, I don't know. It feels like there's a great pacing to this game, though. If you hear sound from the keyhole, you move away. If you see someone staring at you, then you stare back back. That's pretty much the objectives for that. I see no one will hear nothing. Out we go. Hello. Same thing. If we hear noise, we move to another room. If we don't hear growling but see something, you just simply stare. Let's take a look then in the storage area here. Okay, so we have to find different parts of the animatronic scattered in the various rooms. It looked like we only had one thing there. Uh, I hope there's no enemies around here though, like for this like test night here. Okay, so then we build up the law bot. So we just needed two parts, I suppose, uh, on this occasion, but usually it's more. Uh, Yo, I can't see a single thing right now. Okay, so we build up the law. Um, I think this is like a law interface, so if he's under like some kind of damage or whatever, we use that to stop his systems or fireware or whatever from breaking. Uh, and then we can law the characters like this. And then we see, okay, activation has been lost, so then we gotta move back. You see his health dropping. And then we do the firewall thing. Go to the one which has the issue, which, wait, what? Zanny, malicious, so. Once we get that back up and running, we move back. Obviously, no characters there. And then we should be able to lure all over again. Oh, wait, hold on. If I remember correct, we have to lure them to, I think it's these instances here with the doors. So that's it. We lure them in like that. 
We just get them kind of close to it. We press E and I think that's all we got to do. And then we can move around and get going with the next floor or something like that. Yes! Guys, buckle in because we are getting straight into this thing. This is night one. Let's go, man. Let's see if we can handle these animatronics. So step one, building... Yo, this feels a lot more noisier. Oh, crap. Why does this feel so tense? Hold up. There's no one out there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm not hyped for this. Okay, building one, building one. I'm not even saying English words anymore, dude. Let's go. Back out here. Really should be looking. I don't know if we got to worry at this moment in time or if we get the chance to build him up first. Then the night begins. Okay, he needs another pack. Yo, his arm spawned on the floor. Thank you. Okay, him all built up. He's got to be good to go. Hear him leaving the room, and the night begins. All right, we'll start by peeking through. I mean, what's that sound? Like, I don't get, do I back up? Hold on, hold on. Woo. Okay, let's go. I don't think anyone can ever be in here, so let's get straight into this mess, all right? Gotta lure him. Whoa, there's two! Hey! Whoa! Dude, back out! I can't, I can't! Holy cow! Bro, what? This is, wait, I don't, what? This is, I don't understand what's happening. What? Yo, this is going way too quick. This actually is going way too quick. He's up and, like, oh my God. Dude, I am freaking out. This is going way too quick. You see him run for the door? Okay, right, hold on. Dude, like, what is happening? I, what, okay, this game's gonna chill. This game actually has to chill. I don't get it. I don't get what's happening. Yo, this is crazy. This is night one? What is happening? Holy cow. Can we chill? We have to chill. We have to actually legitimately chill. Step back. Step back. Do I wait? What the heck? Heal, heal, heal. Give me that good stuff. Come on. Oh, ooh, ooh, straight in the wrist though. Okay, we're going out. We're going out. Where to move? Where to move? Okay. I see a blinking light still. Guys, this... What the heck? This is kind of crazy. Like, I don't really understand. Go out. What is happening? This is crazy quick. What is happening? It's just... Okay, um... I... I'm gonna be real. This is happening way too fast for me. This is night one. I don't even understand what's happening. I'm just gonna risk it, like, every time. If you're too slow. So, lure him to this room here. Can we please get that lore action? Please, give me that lore action. Like, you hear that noise? Put the checklist down, but it's paperwork. Do I stare? Do I st Dude. Okay, hold up. What, what is it? This feels a bit too much. I don't even know what's happening. This, this has to chill. This game has to chill just a little bit. Like, I'm obviously doing the whole thing wrong. <laughs> and I don't get how. Why can't I lure this dude? Like, I can't lure this dude. So I can only lure the purple ones, I think? What's the... Bro, I'm just risking it. I legit don't know what's going down. This is kind of crazy. This is kind of crazy, though. This is, like, insane. We're just doing this quick time. Lauren, Lauren, Lauren. We've got to get him over here. He's, he's following He's following us. Here we go, here we go. I'm focusing on this. I'm sorry, animatronic. I've got bigger things to worry about right now. Get him in there. He's Lord. He's Lord. We got him. Can we chill? Like, the heart rate and stuff won't stop, man. What's this next? Go what's going on? I don't understand what's going down. This is kind of crazy. I thought, like, I remember this not being too crazy last time. Like, this blinking light in the corner. I can't get rid of it now. Okay, they're all good. I'll check through the key. I don't, I don't know, dude. Do I go? There's nothing there. So we're getting back in on this action. Now, he is sealed away. Let's get this train rolling again. We can't get rid of him, but we can use this map as an idea of where the animatronic is. So maybe it's saying, look, he's here now. Now we worry about the hallway. If it will let me back out. So look, look. There's nothing there. Do I go out and look? I think we stand and stare. Okay, thank you. Let me see the checklist. Hold up. Just contain- Wait! Oh my gosh! I already did it! I was prolonging the nightmare! Wow, okay. I think I might have to do that practice mode one more time. Yeah. You blow your party poppers or whatever. The Why would you blow a party popper? With I do not know effort, what happened. You can take control of anything. I need that. Ability. Far more powerful than any other. You hear that presentation voice? Feels like he wants to be on stage with a huge crowd right behind him, you know? Alright, we're seeing a cutscene here, guys. We're seeing a cutscene. 
That was an overwhelming night. But I think I started to understand a lot more as time went on, okay? Night two might be a little bit easier, though it might not come across as that, but start to understand how these guys were truly trying to work us, okay? And I think I get it. I think I get it. I don't know what that cutscene showed us, man. It's not over yet. It is not over yet. What the f what is that? Is that like a shelving thing? Ooh. Animatronic number two wakes up, no doubt. So no doubt for this next night, we can turn in more than just Teela. All right, guys, so by beating the night as well, we get descriptions about the characters. Here's the man himself, Teela. So this will help us actually learn more about the animatronics as a whole and exactly how they work. Teela is a titular character of the Teela Land Park. His character is depicted as a gray dragon with a jester outfit. Him, along with the others, were constructed by David Artle. He's one of the many allurable threats that lurk in the underground facility and one of the first to activate. Within each hour, he will try to make his way towards the main hall and then to one of the key Holes. Upon his arrival, do not stay in the room or stay in a keyhole for too long. So you have to leave with him, but I, I thought in the, the teaser it said if you hear a voice or something, you stay in your room. So that kind of goes against it, unless I'm misunderstanding. He is the slowest to law. Uh, if the law stays still for too long within Teela's range, he will proceed to infect it. That is why we kept losing signal with it so often. Let's get straight into hour two. That kind of helps significantly then. So when we're luring a Teela, we must move around him, but within his vicinity. By keeping still, he locks onto us, he takes us down. Bro, what the freak was that? I'm literally restarting my camera is about to die. Contain Teela, contain Frill. So, I don't think we worry about these animatronics, though I will, you know, I will stand proven if one's staring at me down the hallway before I build this guy up. Give me your hand. Get the freak on you. Give me your hand. Get the freak on him. All right, we're building this thing up, guys. If we wait too long, what do we... Uh, can I please press E? I kind of want to look through that keyhole right now. Woo! Do we stand? Help me! Thank you. Let's go. We're going in here. Bro, we're luring him. Lure him, lure him, So stay, keep moving around him. You see him? He's right by the office. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Whoa, he's loud though. Hang on, I'm going out. The door is locked. <gasps> Stab. Stab! That's Tila. Ah! Wait, what? Whoa! I don't understand. Bro, okay, right. Chill. Get back in the zone. Okay, we can lure. Where's people? I can't lure no one. I can't lure no one. Right, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Keep on him, keep on him. Look at that. You see infecting the lore? Keep moving. So if we get this right, we could go real quick with this. So we see the other guy in the corner. We got him, we got him, we got him. Take him over, take him over. Take him up, take him up, take him up. Come on, let's go, let's go. Yo, he blocked my path, he blocked my path. Lore, lore. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. Get him in, get him in. Get, get him in. Woo, put that paperwork down, man. Let's go. Still don't understand that. I think we might have trapped him, Reese. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. So we got the first one. Okay, back down a sec. Uh, we got to watch our health a lot. You don't hit that. I'm going out. I'm going out. Let me stare someone down. There he is. You get out of my hallway, dude. Give me that shot. Give me that shot. Let's calm it down a bit. Let's go. Okay, we're feeling good. We're feeling good. Woo. A lot of noise. I think... He was stomping the door. Okay, get him out of here. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, always clear, always clear. Get back in this camera system immediately. He's coming up on us. Lauren, Lauren, Lauren. Okay. He might be a bit more tricky. You see the infection coming in? Like, real quick. Try and ignore it, try and ignore it. Let's go, let's go. Okay, get him in there. Can we back out? Wait. Okay, we got him, we got him, we got him. We can check this. We Wait, go, go, go! Yeah! You see? If we work efficiently, we can get through this thing so quickly. That was awesome! I knew it was gonna be that case, man. Where we struggle a lot on that first night. Overwhelming is the way it goes forward. But you can take this thing down His very quickly. Have far greater potential than what they were made for. He's talking about the Cities animatronics, right? Facility rotting away. So do we find these creepy tapes down here? Them back together. You know this dude played FNAF. He played FNAF. He heard that line and he was like, yeah, let me voice that. Let me pretend I'm actually William Afton, though. All right, next person and we got Willow. Willow is an ambient threat within the facility. Her character depicts a red and white wyvern with a magician outfit. Ambient threats are unable to be lured and their radar icons are depicted with a yellowish tint. It's not necessary to contain ambient threats in order to complete- Wait, did we not just lure? No, we didn't lure Willow. Excuse me, that's the wrong character. So that's the one that moves around freely. This is the dude we contain, Frill. I'm really 
really glad we did. Lorable Threat, his character depicts a thrilled lizard with knight armor. Akin to Tila, he shares the same attack pattern. However, if you see him come up to you anywhere, keep staring back. So we were actually conquering that mechanic perfectly. When he reaches the door, he'll bang on the door until you look through. He will not leave until this is done, making you more vulnerable to Willow if you choose to ignore her. He will always announce his arrival. Okay. He can also infect the Lord, which we were definitely seeing happen. All right. And we have these perks around here, which are kind of interesting, right? Let's see. A longer lore infection cooldown after using firewall and makes infected file text easier to spot. Again, really interesting additions. I like this. I really do like this. All right, then, guys. Well, for now, I'm actually going to leave this here. In fact, let me go back. Okay. I want to see that sick menu. Yeah, that's more like it. All right, then, guys. This was the first episode, though, of Tila Land. As you could tell, though, the overwhelmingness of that first night was at 110%. My senses were firing shots everywhere, but by the second night, we started to cool it down a little bit despite the crazy noises and things happening. We got that nice, smooth, cool flow, and I feel like we had a great understanding of this. If we can keep pacing with this, though, we might be able to churn through this game kind of quick, but we'll see if you guys want to see that next part. For now, this was the first episode of Tila Land, and I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, I hope you did enjoy, and I will, of course, see you on the next one.